going on, guys? <laughs> Sleeping, falling asleep here. September 3rd, 2011. It is 5 a.m. in the morning, and I still haven't slept from when I did September 2nd's <laughs> shit. So I'm going to get some sleep, but before that, I want to give you guys my video log for today. Um, I just finished doing um, uh, about a 14-hour live stream. Um, recruiter friend. <clears throat> it took me like about an hour just to get like the actual um, server to pick. We chose uh, Kazakh. Kazakh uh, EU is the server that we chose. Uh, myself and Clay LOL, who I'm doing the recruiter friend with. I named my character that. Ooh, excuse me. Goddamn chicken katsu. Um, I call my character uh, that loot. That loot. And um, <laughs> I went ahead and got the uh, uh, got the recruiter friend going, and we leveled fast, man. At first it was slow because we're like in the goblin starting area, and the goblin starting area is just like fucking hell. It's like quests are here, here. They're like fucking fifteen million yards apart from each other, and um, it ended up being one of those situations where it was like, all right, so we spent like three hours just getting to like level like sixteen, seventeen to get the hell out. I finally get to Ori. And then we started doing dungeons. Oh my god. It was like two levels per dungeon. Right now we're getting like one and a half to two levels still. And we, we made it to level 50. Myself and Clay LOL. Well. We made it to level 50 in about, um, I think, 12 hours, 15 minutes. So hopefully tomorrow we can get to at least like 70. I mean, 20 levels shouldn't be that hard if we start early. I'm going to probably start like maybe like seven hours from now. Who knows? Depends on when Lula comes back home. Uh, what, what, uh, she wants to do, she wants to hang out, usually Saturdays, maybe we might do something, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, Resto Shaman, dude, I was sweating fucking balls, like, the entire night. Like, there's situations where I couldn't, eat, like, sometimes, you know, when I'm tanking, I'm tanking, you know, do my thing. Oh, oh, taunting in three, two, one, taunt. And, you know, and I could just look at the screen, you know, while I'm tanking, press the buttons, you know, press the buttons, oh, that's cool. That's cool, yeah, that's good, yeah. Oh, I'm pressing the button. I'm pressing the button, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Take it. Yeah, sometimes I could just look at the screen and talk to you guys while I'm tanking. I can't do that while healing. There were so many situations where, like, the fucking, the tank clay, he was about to die, and the rest of the, everyone else was taking damage. Was like, I got a healing wave, this guy, greater fucking healing surge, that guy, and I got to put the fucking totems down. I got to keep the water shield, got to keep the water shield. <laughs> little circle on my head, little, little blue circle, like, <laughs> little blue circle, I got to keep the water shield up, because I got to get my mana, right? I'm going, oom, why? Because I'm using fucking healing surge, healing surge, healing surge. Oom, what do I do now? Nothing. I sit there and I watch the fucking tank just die and I'm like I need to regen. I go oom. Then you then you get stuck in these pugs. You get stuck in these pugs like where the DPS are just pulling shit, pulling shit out there. We went into Hogger's room, this fucking hunter was like, I misclick Hogger, everyone everyone dies. Oh, man, I was sweat I'm still sweating kinda of right now. But before I was sweating like profusely while I was trying to heal. It was like one of the worst feelings in the world. And now I finally know what it's like from like a healer perspective, looking at the tank and being like, oh my God, this tank is about to die. I need to save him. Oh my God, all these guys are about to die. Even though it's not my fault, even though the DPS are standing and shit, I have to try to find a way to save everybody. It's like I'm God. It's like I'm playing God. And I decide who lives and who dies. There's a mage who has 1% HP, the tank has 5, a hunter has 20. Have to heal the tank, let the mage die. Because I can't kill the mage and not the tank, because then the tank dies, and then we all fucking wipe, because the boss is like, oh, well, I'm in lead, <laughs> dead. Oh, man, the rest of the shaman's crazy. I finally, well, I, I got, um, I'm level 50, so I got my totems, I know how to put down my totem. Like, this is what I do. The second I go in, I earth shield the tank, Water shield myself, put down my totems, flame shock the fucking boss to get the extra healing from the uh, the talent where you get the flame shock, and that's it. That's all I do. But then from that point, I, I get so I get so ADD because sometimes the tank takes no damage, and then sometimes the tank takes a shit ton of damage. Oh, what I get myself into? 
Anyway, I'll be honest though, I'm having fun. It's really crazy to look at it, to look at um, World of Warcraft from that perspective of a healer, and how a healer feels when a tank that you know is tanking and uh, DPS. You know, it's a whole other world. It's kind of like you know when they say, you know, put yourself in my shoes. Tell me what you feel like. And now I'm telling you, what, I feel like fucking stressed. I had a fucking you know toke up a couple times and pop like six beers later on in the night. But we got to level 50 in about 12 hours. Not bad. Uh, hopefully we, we can hit level 70-ish today. And um, it's going fast, man. The recruiter friend. At this point, just fucking grant me all the levels and let's go. Grant me all the levels and let me get to 80. But um, I think with those granted levels, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them for a death night. And I'm just going to use 25 levels just to hit 80. And bam. And then just, you know, dungeon my way to the rest. Um, other than that, you know, I spoke about the modern warfare, modern warfare thing already today, and, um, and then there was another, uh, interesting topic today, everyone was talking about the TTT thing, TTT, I didn't know what that is, it's called, uh, Together to the Top, yeah, 4 T's, Together to the Top, and I think it's, uh, I guess it's like a movement, like a gaming revolution that Thien has started, and other channels are now doing it with other people, like you have, you know, I think Bajira is telling his fans, hey, you know what, put my sub in, yours and I'll do my best to shout you out and it's like whatever people ask me what I think about that and it's like I still don't know how the hell it all works like what am I supposed to do like I've had Athene on my sub box for about maybe like three months now maybe four months uh, before, way before you know he came back to World of Warcraft yeah yeah I'm a thing <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it right now oh my god it's so great but um like what do I do? Like, is, since I'm already established, like, on Twitch and shit, and a little bit on YouTube, just, like, am I supposed to contact him and say, hey, dude, I put you on my sub box. Do you want to maybe rendezvous and maybe you shout me out and just say, hey, look at that kid Tally that nobody likes and shit. <laughs> you know, oh, that's right, you're with, like, Darren McTire and, like, half of that guild doesn't even like that guy, so... Hmm. Shout out may not be in order. I don't know. I mean, I have him on my. Su I have Athene on my sub box because I like Athene because I like his attitude. I like the way he acts. You know, I like his enthusiasm when it comes to you know uh, explaining things. His his charisma and his character is just right there. And um, it's one of those situations where I don't know. I'm just gonna keep him on my sub box. I really don't. I don't feel like I need to ask anything of him for me. You know, I've always been the type of guy where. I just take care of me, you know, I do my best to, uh, to network myself, or they say, you know, whore yourself out, whatever, you know what I mean, you know, um, I, I'm, I just go out there, and I put my name out there, and whoever wants to come and listen, they come and listen, they want to have a good time, we have a good time, we have some laughs, man, you know, that's the way it goes, that's the way I've always been, I've always been about just watching out for myself, and you know, I guess because, you know, I've been that way my entire life growing up, you know, kind of just like watching my own back, you know, where I walk, what I do. Um, and I guess it's that attitude that just keeps me from, you know, I guess reaching out to others and asking for help and stuff like, hey, you know, Swifty and Athene, can you hook a brother up? Can you just give me a shout out? I really don't want one. I really don't want a shout out. Like when Hobbs shouted me out, it was pretty cool because Hobbs did... He, he looked at my videos and said, hey, your, your paladin tanking videos helped me, so I'm going to give you a shout, and that was cool. But um, I'm not going to go around asking all my subscribers, hey, take my, sub, take my thing and put it in a sub box somewhere. It's, I don't know. But the whole idea of Together to the Top is cool because now I'm seeing a lot of other people using Athene's methods of, you know, shout, you know, put, my, put me in your sub box, and then I'm going to shout you out. But, uh, like I said, I have Athena in my sub box. Whatever that means to him, I don't know. He, the man probably doesn't even know I exist, even though... Well, I'm not even going to talk about that. <sighs> Fucking joke. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the live stream went pretty well today. Um, we did a lot of vent conversating. I was on vent with mostly all of my mods, and we were having a great time. Uh, Disco Mania mentioned that her boobies had whipped cream on them at one point. Thumbs up for whipped cream. Pedal bear, look. Snap picture. Um, Benita came on live. Benita, oh my god, why? Benita came on and she did like a preview of her moan. Oh my fucking god. I was like, 
live stream BRB calculation. <laughs> I was like, I had to put my headset down. I had to stand up and walk away. And just be like, everyone's like, oh my god, you broke, you broke Tally again. Tally's broken. But um, it was pretty fun, and um, I had a fun night. I have a fun night every night doing live streaming. And um, tomorrow I definitely have to go out and get all of these, um, all of these prizes out. Uh, the MMO series, uh, Steel Series Gaming Mouse. Hopefully I can wake up maybe like an hour or two before raid starts, which is like, or my live stream starts, which is in about four or five hours, and uh, finish off my newsletter. I want to get my newsletter out by uh, Monday, or excuse me, by Tuesday, reset. Uh, that way it's uh, it's good. And uh, I'm probably, um, what day is it today? Today's the third. Um, today's the third, and it's what, Saturday, right? Third, fourth. Fifth. So reset day, the sixth, is Lula's birthday. So I probably won't be raining that day. Uh, luckily, there is no rag attempts or anything. It's just normal trash clearing. Uh, my shield's probably gonna drop when I'm not there. But we're gonna go out. We're gonna go to dinner. We're gonna go to the melting pot, which is like a fondue restaurant. She likes fondue, and we're gonna go there. We're gonna have a, a nice meal. And we're gonna have a good time. But uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, in terms of uh, what's going to happen the next few days, so yeah, for so for the September sixth, do not really expect me online that much. Um, I just won't be uh, because it is uh, Lula's birthday. I might take the live cam with me around and just hopefully see if I get a connection going. Um, who knows? Uh, who knows? I might even I might talk maybe talk to Vanita and tell her, hey, you want to take over my time slot? Be oh no, we'll see what she says. Uh, if she has all her stuff situated by then. Uh, it's good, you know, sometimes when you can trust people to, you know, I trust, like, my girlfriend and uh, a few other people to, you know, be able to take over my live stream uh, when I'm not there or whatnot. But, um, yeah, so today or later today, it's just going to be leveling my character. Um, I really, really, really want to do a Firelands raid. Camera cut out. I was saying I really, really, really want to do a Firelands raid. Um, on uh, Tally T Gen in Europe, and we'll see what happens. But I gotta get some sleep, guys. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, and um, I am. Uh, I went ahead, and since I guess this chip really didn't belong to me to begin with, uh, I am gonna. I am trying to sell it. So if anyone wants, and uh, this is uh, Intel i5, uh, Intel. Huh. Intel i5 650 3.2 gigahertz uh, processor, so it's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see what it says there. Uh, I can't. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, whatever. Uh, it's about 175 retail. Um, if anyone wants this, I was going to give it away, but the, you know, obviously the person who owned it wants me to sell it, so I can, you know, I guess whatever. So um, first come, first serve. Selling it for about. 100 let me know i'll pay for your shipping let me look at the fucking size of this thing i'll put it in the box wrap it up pretty good send it off to you um if you want to bargain with me just send me a message on uh skype and that'd be great so yeah peace out guys No more mana.